Hello, in this example I'm going to show you how to run Terraform inside the call build. First of all, we start from uh, my public GitHub repo, run Terraform inside the AWS call build. You will find this you will find this link in the description of the video. So there are several reasons why you want to do that. Uh, but we, you can read here, but in this video I want, to follow, I want to focus on the action to do. So, first of all, choose a region where everything will be created. In our example, we choose the um, North Virginia region. After, uh, we need to run the cloud formation file to, uh, to build the environment. Of course, we can build the environment also manually, but with the cloud formation file, it's more easy and error proof to that. So if you go here and you go in row and you save this file in your uh, in your PC. Okay, the file is saved. After you go in cloud formation, create stack. Upload a file from S3 to S3, code build JSON, next. Choose a stack name. For example, in this case, we choose like we create a security group, we call like create stack group and a data part name that is will be used in the, in the bucket creation. My data Giuseppe, in my case, click next, click next, acknowledge that we will create an EIM role and click create. So the creation is started. So what this first action will perform? As is possible to read here, this uh, cloud formation file creates three objects. A code build role with admin access, so you can do everything you want. An S3 bucket where uh, we save the TF state file uh, of Terraform, and a code build project where the code will would run. So it's only a few minutes to wait. Do a refresh, create completed. As you can see in the resource, we have these uh, three objects that were created: role, code build project, and S3. So let's see, let's see what the next step. The next step is run the code build to create your Terraform environment. So we need to click on the blue button start build. So let's go back here. I see there are no build project, but if we do a refresh, we we'll see that just one was created. And we can click on start build. And we leave for now all the default environment variable. Start build and the start build is st uh, and the build is started. As you can see, there are some steps, and uh, very soon we'll see uh, the log here. These are all the steps that uh, are done by the code build. That in our case is an Ubuntu container. So Terraform was downloaded, the Terraform binary. Something is installed. You can see in the build the YAML file what is installed. And very soon the Terraform code will run. We will take so basically the the code build will take this public repo and run he, uh, run the action inside this build spec YAML and at the end run the um, telephone code with this code that it's a sim very simple security group with the egress and ingress rule. Oh, sorry. So let's go back here. So Oh, very good. So every status is green. Usually this is a good sign. And uh, you can see the output of the Terraform. If you know Terraform, you can recognize here the output 
of the log you can also see this log in CloudWatch if you want click here there are this log is saved with the CloudWatch default time you can see all the all the action performed in the CloudWatch and the next step as I described in my readme is uh, we did this take a look at the CloudWatch and let's see the result of our build as we can see there are no security there were not uh, security groups here but if you refresh now you can see that there is a new security group that we just created with the rule that we specified so for the creation part everything is done in the next video i will show you how to uh, destroy everything.